Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to take a look on the Ishin ROTG01 FPV OTG receiver. Now, I've already extensively reviewed this kind of OTG receivers. So in this video, I would like to show you how to connect it to your PC. Unfortunately, it doesn't work on Mac. In the package, we get in the OTG receiver, a micro USB to micro USB cable, and this cheap rubber ducky antenna. I've already reviewed this gold model video system and I've compared it with two other models. And at the first glance, I suspected this is the same thing. Just to confirm, let's open it up. Okay, so I can confirm these two are basically almost identical. You can see this part looks identical and just the back looks just a little bit different. So you can go to my review of the gold model and you can see all the features because I've already checked it and it's the same. So what I'm going to do next, I'm going to connect the computer, show you how to configure this OTG receiver and we're also going to do a latency test. So basically in order to connect the computer, this is Windows 10 by the way, you're going to need a micro USB to USB cable. Just connect the micro USB connector to your device. Your computer is going to recognize the device as a USB 2.0 camera. Now I've tried it with different uh, programs like the VLC media player and the program that I found to work the best was this actually and it worked just out of the box. So you need to configure it to use this device, go to options and then in the webcam instead of choosing your built-in webcam if you have one just use USB 2.0 PC camera and it's just going to work you can put it on full screen you can also record the screen then you can use a DVR so just hit the scan let's just quickly connect the quadcopter I'm going to connect my cute Bobo 95 it's connected and now just just hit this button it's going to scan for the best channel after it finished scanning it's going to go to the best signal best channel and then this will disappear after a few seconds you can see that it's working pretty nicely so let's check the latency and see if it's going to be flyable I apologize, but it's a little bit hard to see in this footage, but the average latency was about 80 milliseconds, so because I did also further testings with more accurate swappers. And of course, it also depends on your computer. So I believe if you have a slower machine, your delay is going to be higher. So I really think this is a very cheap and easy solution for FPV on your computer. The latency is not that bad and you can also use it to record DVR. So basically it works both on Android and PC. For that price, for about $21, I think it's a pretty nice gadget to have. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any question about it, feel free to ask it in the comment section below and see you on my next videos. Goodbye. <laughs>